When I tell you I've been seeing some shit on social media, let's dig into this story right here, man. Good God. When you and your cousin got the same BD, and y'all finally start back talking growth OTFFR. And, uh, and I got the backstory for you right here. Let's get to it. Now, when these attractive women begin themselves in these situations, it just it just bothers me because, like, you know, you have options, but you just settle for a certain book. Man, let, let me start this shit. Okay, y'all is dogging us the fuck out, so I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all the story time because y'all got me fucked up. Okay, all my life, me and my cousin lived in two different cities. They're like 45 minutes away from each other. Her city is really, 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 really small. My city is like big. It's like outskirts of the shit. So, yeah. Fast forward, 2016. I meet my baby father and I'm calling my cousin because he told me that he was from Union County, which is where she's from. So I'm calling her, asking her to scoop on this nigga and she tell me that he's cool and he's in love with a white girl. He get money, you know, he cool people do my thing. So I'm like, okay, cool. Never did she ever mention that she had fucked him when they were in middle school. I don't know why she was fucking that early, but yeah, that's just on her. Okay, so I call my other cousin because it's three of us. I call my other cousin and I'm like, what's the scoop on this nigga? She's like, oh, he cool. But she didn't tell me that her, that, I mean, that him and her brother, him and his brother ran a train on her. Yeah, see, they left out a lot of detail. So boom, I'm like, okay, cool. So I start fucking with the nigga because they said he was cool. They never told me that they fucked him. So we going on. No, I give her that. I give her that. She tried to vet him. She tried to vet him. I get pregnant, I have my baby, blah, blah, blah. Um, my baby left out a lot of details. So boom, I'm like, okay, cool. So I start fucking with the nigga because they said he was cool. They never told me that they fucked him. So we going hard. I get pregnant, I have my baby, blah, blah, blah. Um, my baby father used to cheat on me really bad. Like from the day I got pregnant till fucking the day I left, he used to walk me like a fucking dog. But now I don't play like that because yeah, bitch, what happened? But yeah, that's besides the point. But yeah, I went through his phone. I seen a picture of my cousin. So I texted her to see what was up. And she told me like, yeah, whatever. She didn't give a fuck. She was very nonchalant. She didn't care about what she had done to me. So we was beefing for a long time. We wanted to fight. We were supposed to fight. But I think we didn't fight because of our parents. Like, I don't know. I guess we didn't fight because of our parents because even then. So yeah. After that, after I confronted her or whatever, like three weeks later, this bitch popped out that she pregnant and she pinning the baby on a boy, on another boy. So I'm like, what the fuck, bitch? So I start arguing with her on Facebook. I'm like, bitch, that's not your baby father. You're lying. That boy is not your baby daddy. You don't even know who your baby daddy is. And we're just going back and forth. So she's like, when I drop, I'm going to beat your ass, blah, 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 whatever. Never fought. So then she pinned the baby on the boy. The boy get a DNA test, not his baby. Okay, cool. So then the whole two years later, she decides to give my baby father a DNA test, and it's his baby, and boom, we have the same baby father. They're cousin sisters. Oh, fucking well, bitch. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Um, man, that's a lot to take in right there. That's a lot to take in right there. Hmm. <clears throat> So, like I said, she tried to do a due diligence by going ahead to call um, the cousins and them and seeing what's good with them. But when she said he in love with a white girl, like, what she meant by the white girl? Do she mean, like, dope? She mean dope or, like, you know, a white, a physical white girl? Um, either or to pursue, to pursue someone after hearing that, that is not smart. That is a smart. But for her to call the other cousin and um, try to vet as well. And to hear responses that's not that's like you know green light, that's kind of wild for the cousin to do those. You know, I'm, and I'm gonna take her story at face value. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of things in the meantime that led up to this bullshit ass shit happening. You know, I just can't believe someone just becoming a monster overnight, especially with him having bodies so much bodies that you know you should. Nigga end up possibly smashing both your cousins. Nigga got bodies like that. Homie slanking dick everywhere, you feel me? Homie slanking dick like Tom Brady on the Buccaneers, you feel me? Everybody get dick. You, 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 everybody, you feel me? Everybody catch that shit, you feel me? God damn. I'm just like, this is such an unfortunate situation, but at least they trying to make the better out of it. This is so crazy because like coming up um, uh, coming up in Kara City, um, in Miami, I'm curious. Like, you see situations like this happen pretty often. I wouldn't say like not this specifically, like the cousins, 
having the same baby daddies like that got to be kind of intense at the goddamn family reunions and shit for them like black parent people ain't having much family reunions no more but um that whatever little functions that the christmas gatherings thanksgiving the baby daddy must be happy as hell pulling up on thanksgiving he only got one stop to make everybody all there all in one one stop shop both the babies there mwah, mwah. you know he all good he all good he can save gas you know, it is what it is. But we need to stop this shit. <laughs> oh man, the cut them, them cousins ain't shit by not telling the truth about being slurs. Um, especially one who got a train went up ran on them. It's like, it's like, it's like they were expecting her to just get smashed. Like, oh, should I just let the dude just get the coach? Like, and they're like, yeah, yeah, you can fuck him too. Yeah, he cool. I, I fucked him. It's like that's what that's what they thought. Like, oh yeah, he's he's a fuckable guy. Not on some should I date this guy because obviously they that's what they into you feel me and fellas man slow down on throwing too much slab out there like you ain't gotta put your meat on everybody grill not every grill deserves the steak you feel me not every grill deserves the steak but I'ma just wrap this up right here oh man it's been a lot of ratchetness going on I'ma stop this right here it's your boy Stacy and I fuck with you and the reason why because you you fucks with me. Hey, I'm hot. Happy holidays.